A new super troop is being released to Clash of Clans, the Rocket Balloon. Let's tell you everything you need to know. Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. Yesterday, we revealed all of the new troop and defense levels, but today's sneak peek, and it's not the last, let me tell you, we have a sneak peek of tomorrow's sneak peek coming up at the end of the video. Today's sneak peek is the rocket balloon alongside the super wall breaker and probably the super wizard this is now my favorite super troop you will see why when we get to gameplay and i'm sure a lot of you will agree with me the special ability boosters increases movement speed for the first four seconds this is what makes the troop special it will be unlocked at town hall 12 and here are the stats for levels 8 and 9. Let's compare the stats to the regular balloon with the maximum level though. Level 10, because yes, we are getting a new balloon level in the update. Damage per second, hit points, exactly the same. Damage when destroyed is almost double, but the main difference is the housing space, the rocket balloon is 8 housing space in comparison to 5 of a regular balloon and the movement speed. You get the booster for the first 4 seconds, but also the overall movement speed is faster. And think about it, for a balloon that is its main downfall. So despite not being able to take as many, you won't have to commit as many spells. I will show you what I believe are best use cases for the rocket balloon, but let's go over basic mechanics first so you understand how it works. Here we go. Get ready. Do not blink. Look at it go. Look at how fast it is. I love it. The jet fueled balloon. It does a ton of damage and it's almost like it has a haste spell attached to it already. That is why it is fast becoming one of my favorite super troops. Yes, pun intended. Before I explain things any further, remember this is not the last sneak peek, so be sure to subscribe to see the upcoming ones alongside my educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos. You've seen a good example here of how the haste really is important and once it wore off, the balloon took a lot of damage. But the four second haste is so critical it is amazing i think this is going to open up strategies immensely because check this out normally if we wanted to snipe a building let's actually take down the archer tower and i can show you even better by targeting the air defense even if i wanted to haste loons to this area the balloons would go over the haste and the haste would wear out before they even got there but since the haste is attached to the balloon, they can haste all of the way through to the center of the map, to an air defense, the town hall, whatever it might be. Let's do some comparisons then of the regular balloon and the rocket balloon, so you can start to see when you would use the rocket balloon over the regular balloon. Let's place maybe three balloons to the air defense and three rocket balloons to the other air defense. And this should make it pretty clear to you why the rocket balloon is just so much better. I mean, they took out both air defenses. OP. I'm interested to know what an air sweeper will do in this situation. And I will say that this is in isolation. So there are situations where I would not use the rocket balloon and I would use the regular balloon. Obviously, I am going to get to that. But as you can see for the air sweeper, it is a way of counteracting it. One air defense versus one rocket balloon. Let's place the rocket balloon from a little bit of a distance, make this fair. And it is so quick, it can get to the air defense, but not enough to take it out. I've got some fun replays coming up, but I do want to chime in here and let you know that I'm trying to do these comparisons side by side in isolation so that you can easily see the difference. Against a realistic base, things might be different. But this is where I think the regular balloon is better than the rocket balloon. For most lava loon attacks, because of the housing space, we can take eight regular balloons versus five rocket balloons. And whilst the haste is good initially, once it wears off, 
there really isn't too much of a difference in the balloons. And actually, by having more balloons in your arsenal, it just gives you options. You can bring them in more surgically. They're protected by the Hound, and they're not as susceptible to Splash. Based on what I am about to say here, I have an attack strategy that I hope... I see the pros use because it is super fun. But the best use case of the rocket balloon is absolutely sniping important buildings. We know one rocket balloon, not enough for an air defense, two is required. But maybe an air defense, maybe a multi-target inferno. And you can even get clever deploying two sets of rocket balloons onto two separate defenses. And if they take it down fast enough, they can still haste to the defense behind it. But remember, eight houses space per rocket balloon is a big investment so you'd have to make sure getting that section of the base down was worth it here's another cool little use case maybe you've sent a hero dive in you've just missed a key building you could adapt and send a rocket balloon in due to its speed to take that building out and rescue that phase of the attack on defense i don't necessarily think the rocket balloon offers better value than other combinations we already have whilst it can haste across the map it might split up the CC, trip your opponent up, a well-timed poison spell basically counteracts the haste of the rocket balloon. And since it's a greater housing space until more combinations are tested, I don't necessarily think it's worth it. Here is an attack that I hope works if we can charge everything to the center, the mass rocket balloons. Honestly, I think this is a strategy that is viable for pro players and it would be really fun to see them use it let's see what happens i've already shown prior to this that we could take out that air defense so let's just start there we've tested with the rocket balloons and it looks like queen's going up so you also want to take regular balloons that is going to help you to test just as cocoa loons you wouldn't use a rocket loon for that let's actually use the grand warden with the queen and let's start funneling at the top with an ice golem the king and wizard queen's taking a lot of damage so let's rage let's actually just use the rocket balloons exactly like we did up top to take out that area and just help the funneling a little bit into the center so let's go with another coco loon the wall breaker and then let's go with the delayed log launcher there the rc and this doesn't look too bad so far let's keep our eyes to see if we can use any of these rocket loons rc's stepped up a little bit too far so let's turn her invisible Let's actually go with three headhunters because I want to use the Grand Warden's ability, but they weren't in it. Queen's ability is just about being clung onto, but I'm trying not to use it. Let's actually use a couple of rocket loons at the top because that is where uh, my king and RC are. Let's try and freeze some stuff because I feel I'm not using my spells quick enough here. Let's rage and let's actually use... The rocket loons in this top corner like we did before we still got the rc ability oh the enemy queen is alive because my headhunters didn't do their job before and honestly this isn't looking too bad i think i could have used the poison queen's made it through we've still got the royal champion ability we've got two rocket loons wait until does this arch tower lock on it does that should be able to snipe that get to the expo oh my word let's go let's go Oh, the queen! Do not go down! RC is epic! She comes through! She takes it out, and it's all clean up! Obviously, the rocket balloons are defense targeting troops. The rocket fuel actually goes out when they get to the building. I've only just realized that. That is super cool. Your new attack strategy with the rocket balloons, but we still have the sneak peek of tomorrow's sneak peek left to show you but i just want to assure that i do not time fail with this one which i am not the three stars with 19 rocket balloons awesome at the very end of the blog post from clash of clans today about the rocket balloon they said this stay tuned for tomorrow and keep your eyes on the skies as we reveal our next sneak peek just don't watch too closely or you might get some debris in your eye you will find out what that means tomorrow my friends if you missed the new troop and defense levels revealed yesterday i have that linked on your screen alongside the subscribe button i will see you tomorrow but until then enjoy the rest of your day